Hey everybody, Rick Needham Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Friday the 13th, January 13th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct first for their featured race 3, 1.21 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the We See You Stakes, mile test on Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track, fillies and mares, four years old and up, racing for a nice prize of some $75,000. Contenders, number three, Lovely Lil, number four, Opus A, number two, Mineralogist, and number one, the Coles, Miss L. Number three, Lovely Lil, takes a five-level class drop. It's the overall speed leader in the stakes field, racing at or about today's distance of a mile on the dirt. Has hit the board in power run fashion in five straight starts, winning three times in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Cornelio Velasquez has been in her irons on one previous occasion, posting a win en route to more than a 1,000% return on investment in the process. Velasquez is back today for his second ride, gunning for back-to-back -back circle trips. Number four, Opus A, a 9-2 shot, comes off a power run place finish in her last start, missing a circle trip in that race by just a photograph neck at the wire. Race 3 summary, number 2, Lovely Lil, tops my contenders list today, which also includes number 4, Opus A, number 2, Mineralogist, and number 1, the Coles, Miss L, 3421 in the third from Aqueduct, the $75,000 Will See Ya Stakes. Let's go to South Florida's Gulfstream Park next for the race 1 opener. 12.35 p.m. Eastern Post Time, 5.5 furlong sprint on the dirt track, 3 euro fillies race for a claiming prize of $19,000. Contenders number two, don't get mad, Alexis, number one, Mayville, number four, Romantic, Juliet, and number six, Daddy's Jewel. Number two, don't get mad, Alexis, the overall speed and pace profile leader in his claiming field today. Sprinting at her about five and a half furlongs on the dirt has turned in power run performances in five straight, hitting the board in three of those adventures, including a power run win to break her maiden in her fourth race back. Number one, Mayville, also has a nice pace profile, has hit the board in both of her last two, including a power run win to break her respective maiden her last time out. Race 1 summary, number 2, Don't Get Mad, Alexis, tops my contenders list today, which also includes number 1, Mayville, number 4, Romantic, Juliet, and number 6, Daddy's Jewel, 2146 in the first from Gulfstream Park. Bonus long shots, Beulah Park, race 6, number 5, Strike and Fly, 5 to 1 on the morning line. Speed leader in this claiming field, racing at her, about 8.3 furlongs on the dirt, that's a mile and 70 yards. Has hit the board in power run fashion in four of her last five, including a power run win in her third race back. Charlestown, race number three, entry number 12, Ghost Hill, 5-1 to one on the morning line, takes a slight class drop. Nice overall speed for tonight's six and one half for a long sprint. So handicapping from both Aqueduct and Gulfstream. On Friday the 13th, three need them for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.